Jerusalema, ikayala mi Ilondolose, uhambe na mi Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back all my subscribers Welcome back to my kitchen Today I'm gonna do some aki and salt fish and some fried dumpling so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wash my salt fish and i'm gonna put it to boil I'm gonna boil out the salt out of it so i'm gonna wash it this is one pack of salt fish so i'm washing it off put it on the stove for it to boil like roughly three times you know when you're doing i can salt fish the um the happy if you don't want to boil out the salt fish too much because you want your ackee to have a little taste of salt in it. Not too much salt, but a little. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it on the stove for it to boil. And I'm going to boil it like three times. So stay tuned till I'm back. As you can see, my salt fish is boiling. So I'm going to leave it a little. Then after I show off this water and put fresh water on it. As I said, I'm going to, I think I'm going to boil it like for two times because, um, as I said, I love when I fry my salt fish in my haki, I like it to have a little, um, a little taste of salt, not too much, but you know, you want your haki to have a little taste of salt in it. So I think I'm going to do it for, um, two times, boil it two times, then after I put it in some cold water and let it stay until I'm ready to fry it up. So okay, this is ready to um um I'm gonna throw this water off and I'm gonna add a fresh water on it and put it back for it to get the second boil. So this is the second time around for it to boil. So after this, I'm gonna pour this water off and I'm gonna like put it in some cold water for it to cool then I break it up in the size how I want it I'm not gonna do it too fine because I want to see my saltfish in my haki so guys just stay put until I'm back okay so um these are the season I'm gonna use to fry up my haki and saltfish um, right here I have tomatoes, I have uh, onions, I have green, yellow, orange, and red, uh, sweet pepper, otherwise called as bell pepper. And um, I have uh, hot pepper, I have some uh, crushed garlic, and I have uh, one teaspoon of black pepper, and this is my haki. Um, guys, I'm using the tin haki, right? But I'm going to show you exactly how I do my tin haki. I normally um, put it in some hot water before I use it. I don't just um, take it from the tin and use it like that. I don't do that. I normally boil up some hot water and I put it in and let it stay for a while. Then after I strain it off. Okay, this is the second time boiling the saltfish, otherwise called codfish some people call it codfish and some people call it saltfish so um it's the same thing but you know different names so um this is the second time boiling it so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna just strain this water off and i'm gonna just put it in some water some cool water for it to stay there and cool Alrighty. so what i did now i just put it in some cold water for it to cool then i'm gonna break it as i said in the size how i want it to break in so i will be right back so as you can see here i have my flour ready to make my dough for my fried dumpling and i'm um, in my dough in my flour i'm gonna just add some baking powder and a little pinch of salt so i'm gonna add like a half teaspoon of baking powder and I'm gonna add a pinch of salt not too much salt you don't want a lot of salt in your 
flour so I'm gonna add a pinch of salt maybe I would say a quarter half a teaspoon of salt if it's so much just a pinch because you don't want it to salt and um, I'm gonna mix my dough and I will be right back okay so this is my dough so as I said I'm gonna leave it for it to stay there and set alrighty so I'm gonna just cut my season now cut on my season to start fry my salt fish and hacky so now I'm gonna get my season cut up which is the onion and um I know a lot of people don't use sweet pe pepper in their aki but um I use sweet pepper in my haki why because I don't like to see when I fry my haki and it just look dead I like to see my haki um look you know presentable so I normally put a piece of sweet pepper in it to give it that you know colorful look I just don't like to see the aki and the saltfish like that without nothing else most people do it but I don't do it I like my aki with a little piece of sweet pepper in it so this is the honey Anna. and as I said I have a little garlic here the garlic when when um, you fry your haki with the garlic, it gives, sorry, flavor. This is the um, scotch bonnet pepper. I don't want to put too much pepper in it. My tomato I don't use the seed in it I always take the seed out okay so this is the salt fish and I'm gonna just braid them not too fine I don't want them too fine they're already cool and as I said um I want them to have a little taste of salt in it and it just perfect not too salty not too fresh just the right taste okay so i need my salt fish to look okay okay as you see my water come to a boil so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pour the haki into it um i already strained the water from the haki so i'm gonna pour this now the haki into the boiling water And I'm gonna let it stay a little the haki is already cooked but um I normally love to put my haki because it's not like straight from the tree you know like when you at Jamaica you would get haki and you pick it and you cook it this is like in the tin and you know stuff in it so I normally boil it to get whatever out I don't know but that's how I do it so I'm gonna leave it I let it boil a little then I'm gonna strain the water half and then I fry it up see the haki is boiling so just now I'm gonna turn the stove off and I'm gonna let it stay there and cool so over here I have my oil it's hot so I'm gonna put my garlic into it normally I put my garlic to burn in the oil before I do anything else and um, also I'm gonna have my onions in it also. I separate the sweet pepper from the onion. So I'm gonna just leave the garlic and the onions to fry up a little before I add my sweet pepper into the pot. So now I'm gonna put the sweet peppers into the pot and I'm gonna leave this to fry up also. Okay, so you see, 
Now I'm season final. I'm gonna add the saltfish into it also, and I'm gonna let the saltfish fry up. The last thing I'm gonna put in is the ackee. So I'm gonna leave this to fry up a little, then after I pour the ackee into it. So as you can see my saltfish frying up, the frying up in the, in the season. I'm gonna leave it like five more minutes, then I add the aki into it. So now I'm gonna put my haki into the pot. I'm gonna put my aki into the pot now. I strain the water off the aki and I'm gonna use the fork to mix this together because I don't want it the aki to get mashed out. I'm going to have the black pepper into it. This smells nice. So this is my Aki and saltfish. As you can see, my dough already um, set. I'm gonna do my fried dumpling now. I already finished fry up my haki, and I'm gonna use these shape to cut out my dough. All right, so I'm gonna just show you a part of it. So I'm gonna put this. I put a little flour, like a little raw flour, on the bo the board. So I could roll it properly, don't stick. So I'm going to roll this with my rolling pin. Just to get it flat to cut the dough. With the shapes. Doing this, let me just turn the stove on. So the oil can act in the meantime. I'm gonna roll it as thin as possible. Normally, I'll do it on the counter if the counter I would clean the counter and do it on it. The counter is clean, but um, I said let me just do it on this cutting board because you can do on it also. So, I'm just gonna show you this one and the finished look of this one. Then, I just go ahead and finish up, and then you will see. The complete look of my fried dumpling but let me just walk you through the way I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna rest this right here and I'm gonna use the shape and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut let me make a V Cut. And as I said, the ingredients I used to make the dough is just flour, salt, and butter. That's it. This is, no, I'm not going to put any more because I don't want it to, um, just want to make sure they cut out properly. Let me get a knife here. So if they don't cut out properly, I could use the knife to, um, you know, finish mark it around. So I'm going to move this from between. The 
don't want your stuff to get um, messed up. So you have to just take your time. So as I said, I'm going to just show you the first part. Then you will see the finished look because um, this take a little time. And, um, you know, by showing you and um, doing it, it takes time. So I, I just want to go ahead and move as quick as possible. And you will see when, I'm, when, it, when it is complete. So this is it. So over here, as you see, I have my oil. It's already hot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my, my dough. In it. Okay, so this is how it look in the pot. This is the first set. So you're going to make sure this, the stove turn on low. You don't want it too high and they burn all right this is already all right this is this can this one can come out this is the first one that go into it okay so as i said i'm gonna make sure it don't burn these can come out these are the first set so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna continue frying my Fry dumpling and you will see the finished look all right so um I roll this out I said I'm gonna show you our next one how I do it so I'm gonna use as I said you have to put flour on the board so the dough don't stick on it So this is all. Let me see what else can make here. Let me see if I can get a hell here. I don't think I can get no more. All right, and um, I'm going to remove the pieces from around it. Put it in the oil. For them to fry. And as I said, it's take a little bit time to... Um, show and do it at the same time so what i'm going to do i show you exactly what i did so you will see the finish look of my fry dumpling so you see i'm gonna just put it over on the next side you don't ready so um then this side don't already don't finish fires yet but i'm gonna flip it over and let it fry on the other side As you can see, it's fine. And as I say, you don't want your dough fry and not and don't soak properly. So you have to know how to turn the stove. You have to put it on medium heat, and you don't want to put the stove too low because if you put it too low, the oil gonna get cold, and the dough gonna be like oil soak. So you don't want to fry your dough. And now when you're heating your fried dumpling, you're tasting oil in it. You know, you have to know how to fry dumpling. When I fry my dumpling, you don't see no oil in my fried dumpling. It just come out nice, nice and um, soft. So you have to just make sure you know how to fry your dumpling. Fry dumpling to burn. So you have to make sure you watch it. All right. So this ready to take out. And this is the color you want your fried dumpling to have. You don't want it to have any burn look. You want it to have this golden look. 
first set of my fried dumpling. Uh -huh. See how pretty they look? Soft and nice. Okay, these dumpling over here. This is how I normally make my dumpling. My fried dumpling this size, but um, I do these small ones because I want it to decorate my my dish. That's why I do these little tiny ones. But this is the way how I normally make my fried dumpling this size. As you can see my dumpling frying and as i said you don't want to turn your stove high too high because you don't want your fried dumpling to fry and don't soak properly um normally when i'm frying my dumpling i love to um like use the fork and press it down a little i don't like when my fried dumpling to be puffy i don't like the puff do you know you fry the dumpling and i'm like in the middle a little bit puffy with like the dough I don't like it I like my dumpling to like flat a little so what I normally do I always like use the fork and I press it down a little so you don't get that too much puffy um look because I don't like it let this stay some more and fry because I need them to soak properly then I'm gonna take take them out this is my little shape dumplings and as I said I do 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 it like this so I can um, decorate my plate my dish alrighty so this is it okay guys this is the finished look of my fried dumpling and aki and saltfish i would like for you to go ahead like comment and subscribe and um guys if you don't click the notification bell as yet go ahead and do so so as soon as i post up a video you will get notified Alrighty. And um, please remember to share it with a friend. Stay tuned for the next coming video. Bye.